Ever wondered if what you're feeling is truly love or merely an illusion? Love can be a complex labyrinth. Its twists and turns often misleading. Grasping its true essence is pivotal for personal growth and nurturing thriving relationships. Let's dive into the 10 signs that what you're feeling might not be love. Cats, especially the revered Egyptian deity Bastet, hold the key to understanding love. Bastet, symbolic of protection, pleasure, and discernment, teaches us to recognize genuine affection. These traits, when mirrored, can aid in distinguishing true love. Harness the wisdom of Bastet to navigate the labyrinth of love. The first sign is obsession. Love isn't about possession, it's about appreciation. Obsession, jealousy, and control are all red flags, not signs of true love. These are far from the freedom and independence Bastet, the revered Egyptian deity, symbolizes. She teaches us that love should never feel like a cage, but instead like a field where you can run freely. So if your relationship feels more like a leash than a bond, it's time for some introspection. Remember, a love that cages you isn't love at all. The second sign is constant conflict. Love should bring peace, not turmoil. Imagine being caught in a ceaseless storm with no respite from the chaos and emotional distress. That's not love. On the contrary, Bastet, the Egyptian goddess, symbolizes harmony and balance. She represents the tranquil rhythm of life, not a constant battle. Love should be a symphony of understanding and mutual respect, a calm river that nourishes and enriches. True love should feel like a sanctuary, not a battlefield. The third sign is insecurity. Love should make you feel secure and cherished. If you're constantly questioning your worth, feeling inadequate, or fearing abandonment, it's a sign that something isn't right. Love isn't about fear. It's about confidence, security, and mutual respect. Think of Bastet, the Egyptian deity. She embodies confidence and self-assuredness, traits that are essential in a loving relationship. In true love, you should never feel like you're not enough. The fourth sign is manipulation. Love should be about mutual respect and honesty. When manipulation seeps into the equation, it's not love but a power play. Deceit and dishonesty are the antithesis of love. They create an environment of mistrust, which is the very opposite of what love should inspire. Let's take a leaf out of Bastet's book, the Egyptian deity symbolizing protection, love, and honesty. Just as Bastet exemplifies these virtues, so should your relationship. True love should always be a two-way street. The final sign is a lack of growth. Love should inspire you to be the best version of yourself. Just as Bastet symbolizes evolution and growth, true love should also propel us forward, not keep us stagnant. Remember, true love should inspire you, not stifle you. Remember, the first step towards finding true love is learning to love yourself. Just as Bastet embodies strength and grace, we too must cultivate self-love and acceptance. This inner power illuminates our path to genuine love. Embrace yourself, for only then can you truly embrace love. As we navigate the maze of love, let us remember these 10 signs. From feeling unappreciated to being emotionally drained, these signs tell us it's not true love. Don't forget the feline wisdom of Bastet, guiding us through the labyrinth of affection. Her traits, like independence, strength, and intuition, help us distinguish between infatuation and genuine love. By embracing these traits, we can see love clearer. With the wisdom of Bastet and the power of self-love, may we all find our true love.